Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the Wi-Fi password on your PLDT home router. Now the reason why you'd want to do this is that the default password is very easy to crack. Um, in fact, within 60 seconds anyone can work out what the default password is of your home router and start using your internet. Now you can see mine isn't actually connected because I use my own Wi-Fi router from Asus and unfortunately the PLDT router doesn't work very well as a modem. You can put it into a modem only mode but it doesn't work very well. So I'm actually using this <laughs> modem which I got from Buy Intel, um, and I'm using that as my modem for a PLDT, and then I'm using this to give Wi Fi around my house. Now, just quickly before I plug this in and show you how to change the password, let me explain to you why it's so easy to crack. On the back here, you'll find the password. You can see that the SSID is PLDT Home DSL, and the password is PLDT Wi Fi, and then five characters. Those five characters come from the MAC address, which is here. Now, I have blacked out some details here for my own privacy, but basically, the password password is based on this MAC address and this MAC address is actually broadcast in the air. Anybody can see this using some very basic software which means all they have to do is open the software near your home take the last five characters, this is being broadcast publicly, so they take the last five characters, add PLDT Wi-Fi, and then they know your password, and they can connect to your home network. So yeah, let's hook this up and change that password. So of course, the first thing you have to do is connect to the wireless of your router. Once connected, open your browser and go to 192.168.1.1. Once that loads, you're going to log in with the username admin PLDT and the password 12345678900. Now the next steps may vary a little bit depending on your router, but they should be similar enough that you can work out what to do. So we click on Setup, which is here. Then we click on WLAN, which is here. Then Security. And then this is where we put in our new password. So I'll set that to something like Milky Way 01 and then apply changes. So you can see it now says wireless LAN is restarting, please wait. And I'll lose Wi Fi connection, and when it tries to reconnect, it's going to ask me for my new password. So you can see now it's asking me for the password because it's changed. And just like that, I've secured my home Wi Fi because before anyone running some very basic software would be able to come to my home and then start using my internet. But now it's got a secure password, nobody but me and everyone who watches this video knows the password. Now before people start getting excited and saying, oh you're helping hackers, why are you helping people steal internet, this is very common knowledge. A lot of people know this. So I don't think I'm helping people to steal internet, I think I'm helping people to secure their internet because this same problem is for every single PLDT home customer. All of the Wi-Fi passwords are generated in the same way. So if you're a PLDT customer, you should know this. Now a little bonus for those slightly more technical users out there, you might want to change the name because by default it says PLDT Home DSL and then whatever you want to call it, for instance Milky. I couldn't just call it Milky by itself, it's always going to add PLDT Home DSL. But there is a way around this. If I put in Milky and then bring up the Chrome Developer Tools, and then go to the network tab and then submit this with the name PLDT Home DSL Milky. I can then right click on this, do copy as curl, and then in a text editor I can change that. So instead of being PLDT Home DSL, I'm going to call it Milky Way. Let's just call it Milky Way. Now I'll resubmit this request but with my modified SSID and it should come back with our new wireless name. So you can now see I'm connected to Milky Way. This other PLDT Home DSL was just someone else who's nearby. Uh, previously it didn't show because we both had the same SSID. So yeah, it's now changed to Milky Way and if you look here in the setup it says Milky Way. So that's how you can change the SSID so it doesn't say anything about PLDT Home DSL if you want to. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe and if you have any questions put them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching